So for today, we're going to be looking at the Ark Inspired Armor Set, specifically the Thunder's Impact for the Titans. If you guys don't know, we already reviewed the armor set in this video. If you guys want to check it out, we go over how the armor looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts on it. And Hunters, we also made a video about the individual pieces for you guys. It's right here. Again, we go through all of the armor pieces. So the helmet, arms, chest piece, boots, and the cloak. I make a set for each of those. And I think a lot of them came out really, really cool and titans you guys are up next i'm gonna be real with you guys i think a lot of the pieces that you have are bangers like a lot of them so let me know what you guys think and let's just get into it so to start off we're gonna be looking at the helmet and for this one i decided to combine the hollow fired heart exotic specifically the Arctur arcturus engine ornament and the real reason i wanted this is because i thought the blue glow at the chest piece would look really cool with the thunderous impact helm which i think it looks really really cool i also like the fact that the chest piece has a lot of like edgy pieces to it because the thunder impact helm it has a lot of edgy pieces as well so i thought both of them would meld really well together the jensen night gauntlets the reason i'm using that is because i have braytek snow boots and the braytek snow boots are really really big so i didn't want a small arm because then that would look weird and then a moonfang x7 because i wanted a really cool belt all of this with the empirical imperative shader which i think looks really cool with this set my only gripe is the fact that I think the Braytech Snow Boots is a little bit too big for this set, which at that point I'll probably just switch it out. Maybe still retain Jensen Knight because just because the gauntlets are really cool, but I do really like this set. My only gripe is the helmet is a little on, on the more simpler side, which to some people might be detrimental. I don't think it's that bad considering if it's a little simple, then that means you can really combine it with a lot of pieces. You can really go ham with it and I, I guess i just went with a more safe route because i don't know i feel like i i i me just putting on braytex snow boots just for me was safe mode i would probably go back to the drawing board with this one but i did still want to show you guys this one for the arms this is where it gets interesting because i just don't know where the theme was for this one and if i'm being quite honest i still don't but for the helmet dendrite shimmer helm i i love this helmet it's fucking cool and if i can like convince myself to use it in a set that doesn't make sense i'll still use it because the helmet looks cool the chest piece majestic plate uh specifically without the shape without the glow uh because i wanted something that looked classy to go with the arms because i feel like the arms look kind of like knightish kind of so i at least wanted something in there to retain that because then we get into the arm or the boots and the and the mark and then you're like where is this going so the reason I'm using the Path of the Burning Steps with the Alighted Steps ornament is because it has a glow. Uh, the Lux Mark, I like to combine it with the Alighted Steps because one of the hip, uh, as you as you see as, as you can see from the right side of the hip, there's a glow there. On the left side, there is no glow. It, it's it's shut. So I always like to combine the Lux Mark there. So because it doesn't it, the glow's not there so might as well cover it up so the shader we're using for this one is omnicronia i didn't have this shader for a while and i i had some money left over from uh a mistake i made you guys i'll probably tell you guys later but essentially i had money left over and i just decided to get the omnicronium shader with the other one because i've always wanted those two shaders those two shaders are really really cool and as you guys can see, it gives you a really cool blue color for the glow. So that's why I went with it. So not a lot to say about this one. Honestly, the there is really no theme about this one. It's just that I just wanted blue in there. And the Dendrite Shimmer Helmet is a really good helmet for a glow. And then the Alighted Steps is really good for shader as well. And then because I'm using the Alighted Steps, I decided to put the Lex Mark on it because that's what I usually pair it with. And if I'm being quite honest, uh, instead of the Solstice Plate Majestic, I would probably just use the one that already has the glow there. But then at that point, you would be using a solar exotic on a on a uh, different subclass. So you'd be using the arc. Uh, you'd be using the arc subclass with a solar s exotic. So it would make no sense. But for the fashion, it would look cool. As for the chest piece, I ended up going with uh, another solar piece. I don't know why I went with solar pieces for this set. To be fair, a lot of the solar pieces just look really cool with a lot of the sets that I was making. But for this one specifically, I thought Kepri's horn would just look way better with it because Kepri horn 
uh has like that that rocky look that i was looking for and i didn't want to fight it because again i most likely will never use this chess piece because it's not my favorite chess piece from all, everyone i think it's probably the worst chess piece uh because and i explained this in my arc uh armor uh review that again i have made a video on i just don't think it's a titan chess piece i think it's more of like it's too small to be a titan chess piece if i'm being quite honest i like titan chess pieces that have like a bulk to it so that way it's covering like not only their back but the back back but the back of their neck as well i think that's a really cool titan set so for me every time i see a chess piece like this i just cannot get disappointed so but for this one i decided to lean into like just rocky like hive looking pieces because i that's what we're going for so for the arms descending echo gauntlets was an easy choice the nightly noir greaves was a weird choice because it's not bony at all but i kind of like it i don't know why uh granted you could probably just throw in some of the king's fall pieces like the war newman boots you could probably just do that and call it a day uh i just decided not to because i liked how the nightly noir greaves looked on it surprisingly and then the Forian mark I usually always use on organic pieces because it looks really cool. Uh, with the sinking feeling shader, just because I wanted a little bit more electricity in there and sinking feeling has like some electrical vibing going through the armor pieces. So nothing too much to explain about this one. It literally is just because the helmet has that like rocky look to it and the arms as well. And then the Nightly Noir just kind of throws me for a loop, honestly. Like, I don't know why it looks as good as it does, but I think it looks really, really cool. For the boots, this is where it gets interesting because I actually really like this set. For this one, we're using the uh, piezo, piezoelectric stratagem for the no backup plans. And I think they look really, really cool. The fact that the uh, the arms actually change color on what subclass you're wearing. So you that you, cannot, you can actually use this on an arc subclass. It's just not going to be as strong if you use it on a void one, for example. Uh, helmet, the dragon fly regalia helm surprisingly really good with this set especially when you combine it with the war newman's chest piece i think it looks wild uh the thunders impact greaves obviously that's what we're using and i think this looks amazing man like honestly and then finale's iron mark just because i didn't want anything too crazy if i'm being quite honest uh the florian mark would have been really good with this set but i decided not to use it again so let me know what you guys think real quick i just wanted to mention this one we're not going to look through it too much but I did make the Thunder's Impact mark on this set, which I think I made this one for the Assassin's Creed video for the Titans. I'll have it up right now. And this one was really cool because the mark came out really cool. As you guys can see, the Meridian Constellation has these like grooves on the on the stomach. And I think that the grooves will look really cool with the Thunder's Impact because it does have the same grooves just vertically this time. So nothing to exp nothing crazy to explain on this one, because as much as I like this set, I didn't put that much time with this one because, well, to be fair, I did put that much time into it. It was just for another video, but I mean, here it is. If you guys want to check it out, I really, really like it. Some things to note: the Lycan gauntlets, make sure you're using the iron foot sight shader because it combines both of the arms into a green. If you use the Gambit Jade Stone, it actually changes, changes it to another hue of green, which for me, I, I noticed, which is why I changed it. Uh, the helmet is probably the one piece you can really just switch out in and out from other exotics So if you really wanted to you could just switch out mask of the quiet one Which is the one we're currently using with one-eyed mask that a lot of people would probably do that or with a literally any other helmet uh, I just think the arms and the chest piece and the mark are very important Those three pieces are kind of vital to make this look really cool and then the wolf kiss greaves You don't have to use it. I personally really like it, but that's just me um yeah let me know what you guys think i really like these sets um i think my favorite would probably have to be the no backup plans just because it looks really really cool but as much as i like a lot of the individual pieces i'm gonna be real with you guys and tell you to make them into like whole sets is gonna be a bitch because the titan sets are much more rocky looking i guess you would say than the other ones so that would probably be my my complaint there but titans let me know what you guys think uh did i did i do it justice let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite i am excited because uh by the time this video comes out we should be really really close to the light fall and 
I'm going to be really, really busy. So if you guys want to see any videos from me or anything from Lightfall, we're going to be looking at the new exotics for sure. We're going to be looking at the new armor. I'm going to be making a list of video ideas that I have. And I also have to go through some of the community stuff that I want to go through. Um, some Zer stuff. I have a lot of things planned. So let me know what you guys think. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.